Investors scour emerging markets in search for trade war gains. Investors scour emerging markets in search for trade war gains. Developing nation stocks are headed toward their worst month since October, while 19 out of 22 currencies tracked by Bloomberg fell in May as investors scale back their exposure to risk. Picture, Paul A. Young, Bloomberg. It may be too early to buy the dips in emerging markets, but investors are finding opportunities to stay engaged with the asset class amid the sell-off. Shorting the most vulnerable currencies, buying the less volatile markets or extending duration are among the strategies picked by strategists at big financial firms including the Wells Fargo and Morgan Stanley to get around the trade war. As a deal between the US and China before the G20 summit in late June grows increasingly unlikely, investors say it is time to get selective. Reasons for caution are everywhere. Developing nation stocks are headed toward their worst month since October, while 19 out of 22 currencies tracked by Bloomberg are down in May as investors scale back their exposure to risk. Investors have largely given up on the positive scenario. But the worst case is also not priced, Sti strategists led by Dirk Willer wrote in a report. It's prudent to keep risks low. Here are some of investors and analysts' trade ideas. Long Euro, short Czech Corona. For Morgan Stanley, the Czech Republic's economy is more exposed to a slowdown in global trade and growth which is likely to happen as a result of the trade spat between the world's two largest economies. Strategists led by James Lord are recommending shorting the corona funded with euros on a bet that the Czech currency will continue to weaken toward the 26.1 per euro level. We stay along which because a trade for heightened trade tensions and global growth concerns, strategists wrote in a Friday note. Short Asian Currencies Asian economies should be impacted by any slowdown in China's economic activity as a result of additional tariffs. So shorting these currencies against the dollar can offer some gains, according to Sti and Wells Fargo. In MFX, we are long used Asia, defensive elsewhere, Sti strategists led by Willer wrote in a note Friday. They are recommending expressing this bet via a dollar versus Indian rupee call spread and a bearish offshore June position by paying points. Brendan McKenna, a strategist at Wells Fargo in New York, says that investors should bet against any currencies with a high exposure to Chinese risk. In particular, he's betting against the Korean won, the Philippine peso, and the Taiwanese dollar. Outside of Asia, he says the usual suspects that are susceptible to trade risk will be hard hit, and people should stay away from the Brazilian real, Mexico's peso, the Chilean peso, and the South African rand. Read, rand falls as trade war concerns hurt sentiment.